We live in a world today where we're surrounded by some pretty big problems. Environmental degradation, human rights, poverty, war. And everywhere we turn, we find these issues. And they're so big, complicated, and interconnected. It seems like only solutions as big as those problems themselves are going to solve them. In our complicated world, that's our first thought. But these problems can have smaller solutions. And the ordinary actions by everyday people do add up to make an impact. So today, I want to talk to you about one of these big problems that has a surprisingly small solution. So according to the Environmental Protection Agency, 20% of waste in American landfills is food waste. That's 20% of what we're all throwing away together that's taking up some valuable real estate. But our food waste can be dealt with more sustainably through composting. And this alternative is in our best interest because it takes the nutrients that were in food waste and puts them back into the soil instead of letting that potential go to waste in a landfill. So one method of handling food improves the quality of our soils and the other produces even higher amounts of methane, a potent greenhouse gas. I'd say that composting is a better idea. And think about it. In a world with 7 billion people and counting, what we do with our waste does in fact matter. You know, of course, the ideal would be that we compost all of our food waste. But unfortunately, part of the problem we have with food waste is that not everything can be composted, at least not in the way we tend to think of it. So you think about your backyard gardener and their compost pile. Chances are you're thinking of something like this, a cinder block set up with a pile of leaves and last week's salad and some vegetable peelings. Well, that's great, but with a pile of leaves, you can't compost meat or dairy products. Given our society's mainstream diet, that represents a significant portion of our food waste. So if you toss in a half-finished cheeseburger or a chicken salad into that leaf pile, you're actually going to disrupt the normal decomposition process that that pile needs by encouraging the wrong kind of bacteria. So this method requires people to sort what's compostable and what's not compostable. Understandably, most people aren't going to want to do that, not unless you're crazy like me. <laughs> so if there was a more inclusive process that allowed people to sort all their food waste, more people would be composting and less food would end up in the landfill. So here's a better solution. Bacteria are so incredibly small compared to the size of our food waste problem, but they can have a much bigger impact through Bokashi composting. So this was a practice first developed by Japanese farmers and it means fermented composting. What happens is it takes the bacteria that were a problem before and uses them to your advantage, this time to compost all your food waste because it works on meat and dairy. So think about that leaf pile. It works in those conditions because like a sourdough bread starter or a beer starter, Bokashi doesn't need oxygen to work. The bacteria used in Bokashi decompose your food waste without oxygen, kind of pickling it instead of breaking it down into unrecognizable parts. And because Bakashi doesn't have to, you don't have to sort through your food waste and it doesn't take up the same amount of space as that backyard leaf pile, it's an incredibly useful tool for dealing with household food waste. And this can be multiplied on a much broader context to look at the problem of urban food waste. This is something that every city has to come to terms with. The city of Kani, Japan, however, has already solved this problem by giving their citizens individual bokashi buckets for composting inside of their home. This is an amazing idea that could be tailored to fit the needs of cities around the world. And then if we take it down a couple of scales and look at something on a more closer to home rural setting, Lucasfilm Skywalker Ranch actually used bokashi to compost their food waste. How do you like that? So, you can always Google on the internet and buy a Bokashi starter if you want to, but I say, why would you buy what you can make yourselves at home? All you need is white rice, water, bran, skim milk, things you can drive to the grocery store or feed store and pick up. What you do is you cultivate your very own lactic acid bacteria, the kind used in making cheese, and ferment it with bran. The end result is Bokashi which you can use to compost your food in whatever setup you need. So, it takes about a month to do. But to me, it's like a form of art. You're taking all these things that don't make sense and putting them together to 
get something you can compost with. And if anybody is interested in the recipe or wants to learn more, please come see me afterwards, because I'm more than happy to talk to you all about it. This is something I care about, something I'm passionate about. And this is why I'm standing here. I'm sharing my idea for tackling food waste, my love of composting. I share this with my friends and my family, and now you all hoping that somebody will go home and research Bakashi. And even if it's just one person who does that, small actions become big when passion meets purpose. Because when you care about something, ideas spread. When you take the time to invest yourself in something over and over again, the people closest to you take notice and imitate your actions. So positive behaviors like turning off the lights when you leave a room, biking somewhere instead of driving, and yes, even composting, they're all small actions in and of themselves, but their impact is magnified by the number of people doing those things. There's this huge barrier to the idea of personal action in this idea of personal insignificance, what I call a lack of efficacy. You know that idea of being just one person and being too small? Well, I argue that your actions matter infinitely more than you think. Don't stop caring about what you want to change. Because small solutions for big problems, like Bokashi for managing food waste, become so much bigger when people don't let the idea of being an individual stop them. I mean, everybody has this capacity to make small actions mean something, because the actions of you and me, they add up over time, taking us a big step closer to what we want to change. I encourage all of you to find your idea worth sharing, because it can go so much further than you think, helping more than just your family, your friends, your community. It's like a ripple effect. Your actions are stones dropped into a pond, sending these shock ripples outward further than we can actually see or predict. And over time, enough ripples become a wave big enough to face a problem that seemed impossible before. So my stone is Bakashi, teaching people about compost, because the ripple I want to make is environmental action and responsibility. But each one of you on the individual level has the power to choose and decide what your stones look like and how many you're going to drop. Thank you.